Welcome back everyone and thank you for joining me. Today I'm painting a blue throat and this is a small songbird similar to a robin uh, complete with this adorable uh, throat patch in blue instead of red. So I'm making my usual pencil sketch here. I'm speeding this up by about uh, 800% so as you can see this is coming together very quickly. And I did a few different sketches to get to know this bird and its posture a little bit better. But uh, in the end, I decided on the left pose to um, turn into a painting. But I think in the second sketch, you can see very well how this uh, throat, this blue throat is um, structured. So uh, how the markings are distributed. I'm mixing buff titanium and sepia here for a very light first coat and as you can see I dropped in some water to uh, have a, a wet surface so that I can just drop my first coat of paint onto the bird and I'm mixing in more sepia for the areas of the bird that are darker so uh, the head, the wings, the top of the wings and then uh, some areas of his face. And as you can see I don't need a lot of paint so I can push around the paint that I dropped into this wet surface. And this is, and I can also lift out paint again, so he has this white stripe over his eye and I just painted over that and lifted it out again quickly. And I'm painting on cotton paper today, so this will give me uh, the chance to manip manipulate my paint layers a lot and have a lot of control over how I'm applying my paint. And I'm dropping in a bit of the darker paint on the belly and smooth it all out. And for the first layers that's exactly what I want, so I just want a, a base color that doesn't have any harsh edges and that sort of uh, sculpts the, the base of, of the rest of the colors a little bit. I'm adding a bit of burnt sienna to my mix to paint the feet. And I'm adding dark gray to my sepia mix to paint the first layer of the small beak that this bird has. I'm using a fairly big brush, so this is a size 8 brush. And luckily this brush has quite the, the fine tip so that I can work in these, these details fairly um, accurately. I'm also adding a bit of the wing structure here and I'll spend a, a bit more time on this later. Note how I can add a lot of water to all of this. As long as my layer is still wet, I can still drop in water, drop in more paint and push it around. So this is exactly what I'm doing here. And I'm sort of uh, creating this um, three-dimensional look fairly early in the beginning. I'm adding the eye with neutral gray and now I'm adding the red part of the throat. So uh, the bird has a breast that is actually partly red, so this um, sort of warm red, orangey red and then he has this blue part and right now I'm adding the region below the eye which is the ear patch so the bird's ear is actually uh, below that little feather patch there and I'm adding more of the darker color on the head. I'm also spreading out the, the rest of this darker color to the rest of the bird. And I've decided to paint the little twig that he's sitting on and so I'm adding uh, a few 
more slightly more muted colors to the twig. And while this is drying, I'm adding a few darker areas on the wings. As you can see, I can still push my paint around on the head there. Adding just a little bit of buff titanium around the eye to give this white area a bit more bit, bit more structure. And the lower part of this twig is in this sort of darker, deep red-brown. I don't want to draw any attention to this little twig. Uh, I just want to read it as a twig. And now it's time to add the blue throat of the bird, which gives it its name. And I believe this is a mix of all of the three blues that I have on this palette. So I added some manganese blue lately, which you can see on the on the right. Then I have my cerulean blue and ultramarine, and I think I mixed all three of them. Doesn't really matter in this case, so it's a sort of a, a neutral middle blue. And with my sepia mix, I'm adding a few of the the visible wing patterns that I can see. So just a few of the creases and the stacked wings that I'm able to see from my reference. And I'm trying to keep my strokes really feathery, really light, so that they don't produce uh, thick, fat lines. A little bit of red around the tail and I'm painting another layer of this orange-red here. And I'm also darkening the blue throat. I'm already in the stage where I just need to add more information to the information that I already have. So I'm adding more fine lines and more shadows around the wing patterns that I can see. And a few textural details like these fluffed up feathers around the breast. Adding a second layer to the feet with my sepia mix. And I'm trying to hit the middle ground here between a detailed painting of a bird and not too much noodling. So I would call this a very detailed sketch. I'm getting out my colored pencils now, as I often do, and I like these because you can add um, more contrast, more details, uh, without having to control very fine brushes. So with these I can add more of the single stacked feathers, a, a bit more of, this, uh, of these small feathers around certain areas. And also note that I don't add details in all places. So I try to keep them in the places that I can see them and also in places that I want the viewer to look at. So around the face, around the eyes, that's where I want someone else to focus in this painting. So particular, this one is useful, this light yellow one, almost white. It's really fun to use these colored pencil for really fine lines. And as you can see, my last step is smoothing everything out again a little bit with my brush. So just going over everything again. And that's the whole bird sketch. Thank you for joining me. That's 
it for today. I hope you found this video useful. If you enjoyed it, then give me a like or subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or want to see a specific video, a specific sketch, then absolutely let me know below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video and until then, be well and happy sketching.